What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And today Infinity Ward and Activision have released a very in-depth, detailed look at how the new ranking system will work. So guys, you're going to have to bear with me. This video is going to be a bit longer than usual. I usually try to get to the point very quickly and not bore you guys to death with long videos. But this video is going to be a little bit longer because there's a lot of information today revolving kind of around the new ranking system and how it will work. I will link all this information down in the description below so you guys can read over it for yourself. But of course, the game will have uh, you know, a certain number of levels you have to get through. Of course, you will start at level 1 and max level will be level 55. Once you have reached level 55, there will be a new thing instead of prestiging called officer ranks. With this, there is a hundred officer ranks that will reset every single season. So each season we have in Call of Duty, your officer rank will reset. Officer ranks uh, give unique rewards at different levels, including cosmetic weapon variants. This new system is being used in Modern Warfare as ranks can be tied to the season while allowing users to keep their unlocks. Your unlocks never reset in Modern Warfare regardless of what when the season ends and when the officer rank resets. Of course, it goes on to give some more info about how you know you will rank up through the game starting from level one and you're going to you're going to get just like in past cods you're going to unlock something every level from one to 55 but once you hit level 55 that is when that new uh you know ranking system will start and then it kind of goes in and talks about how you will gain xp through the game of course by completing matches uh, whether it be spec ops or multiplayer missions or you know spec ops missions or multiplayer matches uh, by completing daily challenges also completing challenging missions or completing camo challenges. Once officer ranks are unlocked, there are additional officer rank challenges as well. So it looks like we're gonna have a lot of stuff to keep us going in multiplayer, a lot of different daily challenges to do. And once you hit that officer rank, you're gonna get even more daily challenges as well. Of course, when you're ranking up, you know, a lot of times a lot of people like to prestige because you get those different badges, you know, that you can put by your name. Uh, now, or badges or emblems. Now it says with the officer rank, seasonal rewards and badges of honor, it says in the new progression, uh, the new progression system, a player's enlisted rank of one to fifty-five are never reset, and they will never have their functional items relocked. Instead, players now progress into the new officer rank. Uh, when you reach officer rank one, you receive a cosmetic weapon blueprint for your promotion. Ranking up through the officer rank requires the same gameplay completion practices as you previously utilized in the enlisted ranks by earning XP. Every time that you rank up in the officer rank, you will receive a ribbon. Earning 10 ribbons gives you a special season emblem, with each additional 10 ribbons evolving that emblem. Collecting all 100 ribbons unlocks an animated emblem, which serves as proof of getting the ultimate achievement, uh, achievement for that particular season. Reach the maximum officer rank and expect to receive another cosmetic weapon blueprint. So this is pretty much like prestiging, but it's every season you're prestiging per se. I guess you kind of kind of have you could look at it, but you're going to get to evolve your emblem and also get... Um, Blue, cosmetic weapon blueprints along the way and of course you're going to go from 1 to 100 so this seems like it's going to give us a lot of stuff to grind for each individual season and I think a lot of people will enjoy this like I said I was kind of in the past video I made about this when they first announced it I was kind of leery of them getting rid of the prestige system because that's what a lot of people like to do to grind out the game of course it says your overall accomplishment uh, overall accomplishments your ranking accomplishments showcase your dedication and talents at modern warfare and these milestones are proper, uh, properly memorialized. Any officer rank, officer challenge ribbon, or seasonal emblem are permanently recorded in the game. So that's another thing that is pretty neat that you can always go back and see that stuff. Of course, I said challenging missions are another way to rank up and earn cool rewards. Outside of normal gameplay, daily challenges, and seasonal, seasonal officer challenges, another huge opportunity to earn XP for enlisted ranks or officer ranks and the player level is through challenging missions contained within the barracks part of the multiplayer menu. Also, they go on to talk about a full arsenal of weapon experience. Weapons like operators can also be leveled up and gain experience, which unlock a whole arsenal of attachments, perks, camouflages, and are, are, that can be equipped through the gunsmith. Uh, it says, defeating foes with a weapon you have unlocked through the progression grants your weapon XP. It's kind of like always, each weapon level will reward you with a new attachment, for example, muzzles, optics, that kind of thing. Uh, camos earned by leveling up a weapon unlocks the base camo for that weapon. After earning the base camo, a set of camo challenges, pretty much like all Call of Duty's have had in the past, allowing you to earn a set of colorful and cool looking skins with a camo set for that weapon. 
Uh, in addition, camo unlocks also earn you XP, with each weapon averaging 50 available attachments and having over 100 earnable camos, including a few extra camos for those, uh, you know, people out there that want to go the extra kind of distance, I guess. There is plenty to earn and accomplish with Modern Warfare even before the first season begins. So 50 attachments on average per weapon is pretty impressive if you ask me. That's going to give people, once again, something else to grind for. And of course, it says post-launch content. Call of Duty Modern Warfare is scheduled to have a number of seasons post-launch. Each post-launch season, which will have its own officer rank progression track, will bring a new mix of maps, modes, missions, community events, and other content to the game. Like I said, guys, I'm going to link this all down in the description below so you can read over it for yourself. But this is a pretty impressive amount of information now. Uh, we have got a lot of information in the last few days. I've made a ton of videos here on the channel. So if you haven't saw, you know, or haven't seen some of those, definitely check them out. But this is really shaping the game up to be even more impressive than it was a couple months back. There's going to be a lot of stuff to do. Like I said, I was kind of skeptical that they were taking away the whole prestige system. But now it seems like with all the weapon unlocks, all the weapon attachments, and this new ranking system that we have, it's going to keep you very invested in the game for many uh, you know, months and the next year to come. So it looks like this is going to be a, a really good year kind of to grind out Call of Duty. It looks like it's going to give us a lot of things to do. I'm kind of curious to see how these seasons are going to tie in with that battle pass. I'm sure each season is going to probably bring a new battle pass to the game as well. So not only are you unlocking stuff once you hit that you know, rank 55 and you progress through those next 100 tiers, you will also have the battle pass to you know, progress along the way as well. So it looks like we're going to have a lot of uh, good content this year. Of course, we're going to get these new weapon blueprints. They said the new battle pass will be, of course, cosmetic. There's going to be a, a basic kind of version and a premium version. I'm sure we may have to pay for the premium version, but if it's only 10 or 15 bucks every couple, you know, a month per season, I'm okay with that. It's a lot better, in my opinion, than paying for DLC and also having to pay for loot boxes if you want to try to unlock stuff. But I think overall, this new ranking system looks very, very good. I think it's very kind of intriguing, in my opinion, to me, to have something different in Call of Duty. You know, Call of Duty has been the same year after year since I can remember, you know, starting to play the game back in COD 4. So a new way to rank up and a new whole system for like a battle pass kind of look at the game. I, I think this is going to be a very unique year for the game that should be very exciting. Leave me a comment and let me know your thoughts about this new rank up system. And of course, if you like the video, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. Make sure you click that bell icon up in the top right corner so you know when all my videos go live. And if you do have a chance, make sure you click on this video and share it with any of your friends or anywhere on social media or anywhere you might post something. It will help out the channel a lot. And I appreciate you guys, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.